exosuits, double jumps, and fast moving vehicles. These are some of the craziest things that you'll see in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. But what makes this title different from the others is the warfare itself. Here is the future of Call of Duty. Features like marking targets with infrared vision so teammates can see enemies through walls. And grappling hooks used for movement and takedowns bring us ever closer to the future. Now this game is built with the same engine but built upon it with new features and that 60 frames per second is there for the new generation. Now as a fellow game designer I really don't want to discuss the story. Just know that it's really action paced, linear, and Kevin Spacey's character, who has his own private contracting army, has a command performance in every scene. And you, as the main character, use your robotic arms, featured in the beginning of the game, to move from territory to territory, from place to place, and take down the enemy as you see fit. Now, there's one rip on the campaign, and it's kind of cheesy and predictable, but the linear action scenes are dope and will put you on the edge of your seat. Now, the presentation of a Call of Duty and Advanced Warfare. Images and environments look sharp, from the gleaming metal of the gun to light blooms and environmental textures. The sound design is excellent. Crumbling concrete and buildings being torn asunder sound like a full-on movie experience. You give them that, and they'll follow. And that's where I come in. Alright, so gameplay for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare has changed only slightly. You have two different types of exosuits, Scout and Assault. One focuses on movement and navigation, and the other on firefights or combat. It provides two different types of gameplay for your single player experience. Next up I would like to talk about the grenade. You only have one grenade but with multiple uses. Like with the threat meter that shows the enemies surrounding with like a reddish kind of aura around the enemies. Also you have EMP to take down other exosuit enemies. A uh, frag and contact grenades that explode on contact. Next up, uh, gunplay as usual feels like Call of Duty. Guns feel and sound powerful and there's a good mix up between uh, different types of weapons that are provided with futuristic weapons as well like lasers and guided rockets. FMD cutscenes look great, the character models look good and Kevin Spacey and Troy Baker look the part. Uh, double jumps and grabs and uh, ledges feel good while you're platforming while in single player and in multiplayer. Grappling hook missions vary from different ways. You can either take the low road or the high road, so it's not completely linear during the stealth grappling hook missions. The action scenes will blow you away. You go from a stealth plane mission to being like totally in dogfights to using a badass battle tank to take out waves and waves of enemies from point A to point B. Just using that tank just to destroy and throttle reinforcements. And also, hearing your teammates beside you is also a good thing as well. It kind of makes you feel like a team and you move as a unit. There are some negatives in gameplay as well. Uh, the same problem I had with Black Ops 2 was the teammates and enemies look the same and they need to be easier to spot. Teammates need to have a blue aura around them at all times or a wave point so you can easily detect them in firefights because difficulty comes mostly through shooting your own teammates and not the enemies themselves. So everybody stop rocking the black suits and have some waypoints and identity marker. Melee needs to change too. Kind of, in my opinion, I think they need the destiny kind of melee, the right bumper action with the hit detection that feels visceral and sticks and then impacts as soon as you do it. Having the uh, melee as the stick with it also being the camera is not going to work. And also there's crazy low times between the FMD scenes and the actual gameplay. So it kind of takes you out of the gameplay and story while you're waiting for these load times. But last but not least, we have different types of various game modes and game types for the new multiplayer. Now multiplayer is a step, way step above Ghost with its new better kill streaks and loadout customs. You have game types like Capture the Flag, Uplink, Deathmatch, and Team Deathmatch. Watch as your character becomes stronger and better equipped for the battle ahead. Building your character from the ground up is satisfying and fun and it's instantly gratifying when you get those better perks and grenades and armor for the battle ahead. Dynamic events happens in the game to keep the game flowing. Like the Hammer of Dawn-ish kind of vanguard satellite laser beam that comes from the sky via which team activates it, which brings a new kind of chaotic feeling into the battle of Call of Duty. 
And for the grades, for gameplay, I'm going to give Call of Duty Advanced Warfare a B plus. It's a step above Ghost, it feels much faster, much stronger, and much better, and it might convince some fans who didn't like the series to come on back. The replay value is a staggering high, the single player campaign being innovative and fun and lasting, and the multiplayer being better than ever, this will have you playing for a really long time if you're a fan. And the consumer report, I'm going to say a full price, getting newer used, it's a better, better game than the last series. It is, it is worth it. They put a lot of thought and heart into the series. And with the new exosuit, it's going to be much fun navigating from point A to point B to take down the enemy. Now, if you want to see a full review of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare going down to the button mapping and control types, hit me up on the comment below and let me know. Well that's it for today's video, but if you want to see more, go ahead and click on my main channel, Alter Element Games. There I have videos ranging from gameplay highlights, full video game reviews, music soundtracks from some of the best games, and gaming and news updates. Keep it live here at Alter Element Games, and visit my fan page on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for supporting my channel. Cafe LA, peace and love, I'm out of here. Alter Element Games where gameplay is everything.